Good afternoon. It is Wednesday the 26th. I've done my laundry. Finally was able to list the mask up on uh, Etsy. Some of them. Still working on the other listings. Um, I do have some extra large heel mask. And then I still have to get a a different view of the masks that have the um, you know these are just plain colors but the one mask I was telling you in here there is um, boning so that it does not collapse against your lip but these do not have the boning in them these are just the regular plain Olsen mask but I have to those pictures of the other ones ready and uh, it's just been a day things have just not been cooperating I needed to finish some things on some of the kids masks that I was making for um, one of the schools and even though the machine just came back from the shop I'm sewing along and all of a sudden it says I need to be threaded. No, we are sewing. There is thread in your needle. It's just working out weird. So it looks like she's going to go back. Um, I did call. He said, is it happening all the time? I said, no, it'll just happen, I'll be so long, and it'll happen for five minutes, then it stops and it behaves for an hour, so, I don't know, but it's annoying me, it is really annoying me, because it's frustrating, you know, because you're sewing along, uh, the other thing too is, uh, there's a button to lift the presser foot. When I press the button, it goes to say, well, I need to be threaded. No, you don't. But you can't argue with computers on these things. So, um, yeah, it looks like it's going to get to go back. Because um, I don't have time for that kind of nonsense with a machine. Especially as expensive as it is. You know, I always tease. My other car is a Bernina. Because, <laughs> yeah, they're about the price of a car. And, um... But I love the machines. But it's just... This one's got some kind of weird thing going on. So... Like I said, I called. And they said, well, give it another go around, unplug the foot pedal, and turn the machine off, turn it back on, you know, you know, they always tell you to do those things, and you're going, duh, like I haven't already done it, you know, come on, but what are you going to do, you can't argue with them, right, they know what's up, that kind of thing, um, after I did the laundry, I stopped over at Ollie's, and um, I got some yarn, but because I was bringing in lunch that included drinks, I didn't bring the yarn in. I was going to do that afternoon and bring it and show you what I got, but the husband took the garden center with my yarn. I am going to show you. I did find this book, and um, I'm always looking for different stitch books, those kind of things, just because I find them interesting. And, you know, I'm loving some of these stitches that are in here. And some of these, a lot of these I have stitches. Some of these I do not. So, I've been looking through the book, and going to play with it a little bit. Still have to clean the mess up over here. You know, fun stuff like that. Um, 
Now, I really thought that I had given an official shout out to Hook Hook Crochet Sandy. Sandy, my apologies. I thought I had done it. Apparently it was on my list while I was sick and I deleted that page with those channels. So I never gave an official shout out. So here's your official shout out, Sandy. I want everybody to go over and see Hook Hook Crochet. You're really going to enjoy her channel. I really like Sandy a lot. Um, and I keep thinking, you know, she's all the way up in Chicago. Maybe one day we can meet. You know, maybe if she's going to come down and pick up her son, you know, from State College. We can meet in State College. And I don't know. You know, it might be fun. But, um... Here is your official shout out. Everyone, please go over to Hook Hook Crochet and go check out Sandy's channel. And there will be a link down below. For those of you using the phone, you will have to scroll all the way down to the bottom um, for the description box to find the link. But you're going to like her. I know you are. I also had someone send me a message and said to me, So why do you do shout-outs, Jane? Now, I know I've told you all this before. I enjoy finding other channels. Now, I enjoy knitting and crochet the most. Um, I also enjoy sewing, but I haven't included sewing channels because, you know, a lot of you guys don't really look forward to sewing channels but um, I enjoy quite a few sewing channels so um, and quilting channels but mostly I stick to the yarny ones and uh, mostly crochet crochet is my absolute favorite um, fiber art next to sewing it is for me it's very calming but at the same time, I know when I was first starting out as a new channel, I thought, you know, I don't see other channels really doing a lot of that. They may mention somebody in passing or if they have a tutorial. I thought, no, I think we need to support one another, male, female, all those in between, you know, nowadays, Apparently there's 76 genders, I don't know. You know, I'm old-fashioned to me, there's male, female. And then there are those who would like to be male or female. So, um, but what do I know? You know, but part of this is to endorse other channels. The other thing is, you may love another channel that I detest. Does that mean I'm not going to give them a shout out? No. Why? Because they're a fellow Yarny person. And we have to support one another. You know, we don't want crochet to die out. We don't want knitting to die out. Um, those are very important skills. In my book, they're uh, apocalyptic skills because, you know, if everything goes to pot, we can still find string and crochet and knit garments and all kinds of tools and things we can use. So um, that's why I like to share other channels. I also like to see people discover new channels and to see those channels grow. One of my favorite things is to see a channel that has maybe three people you know, somewhere between 3 and 20, 30. And I get to watch them each week grow. Because as I shout them out, other people shout them out. And then they grow. And it's just fascinating to me to, me to see channels grow. And how fast some grow than others. Now, you know, some of us know that if, if you can get Crystal Bag of Day to give you a shout out. You're pretty set in gold. Usually you'll hit 1,000 within a week. Um, 
I'm not a big name. But that doesn't mean I'm still not going to give a shout out. So, and there are some people that love other people more than they, you know, love this type of person. Some people, voices, they can't tolerate the voice. Um, but, you know, we're all different. We're all unique. And we all have something to give to this community. And one of my ways to give back to this community is to do shout outs. Um, for a lot of you, you don't realize that I do a lot of charity work. Um, I do not show you all the knitted knockers, crocheted knockers that I make each week. I generally make five to six a week um, of either or both. Um, those are packaged up and sent to three different breast centers that I know of here close to me as well as sending to the Knitted Knockers group. And then I have other ladies that are doing the same. They give them to me when we meet at Prayer Shawl, and I send them up, package them up. And when I say package them up, I have a, um, you know, one of those clear bags, like what Lovecraft sends things in. Chiffon? chiffon bag and in it I place the breast prosthesis of a certain size information about how to care for them how to stuff them um, one of the doctors prefers that I stuff them so I do stuff those for that doctor and it works out fine you know a lot of the doctors like to have them in the office so that either post-surgery or pre-surgery, they can actually give it to the client um, so that they'll have that available for after their surgery. Um, surgery scars can be very tender, so you need something soft against it. So we try to use the softest Pima cotton or Kaboo. Kaboo is a great soft material um, for breast and for breast reconstruction, you can use them during that time as well. So a lot of the doctors like having those available so they can hand them out directly. And, you know, I include um, a card that has my telephone number. My telephone number is registered with Knit and Knockers as well as a contact person. So that those that need to get in contact with me or have any questions... If they're close enough to me and they don't mind a visit, I will come and show them how to use them, how to stuff them, how, you know, to wash them, whatever it is they need of me. Um, or if they just want some moral support while they're stuffing them, you know, how do I know I'm stuffing them enough? And I always tell them my joke about the very first time I made an A pair size A cup and I stuffed because it says stuff firmly so I kept stuffing and stuffing and stuffing and I'll tell you what by the time I got done they looked like a size double D and uh, we happened to be at the fire hall at the senior center that time and I'd laid them on the table and one of the girls had turned around and, and she has breast prosthesis she turned around and she goes Good Lord, those are huge. I said, but they're only a size A cup. She looked at me and she goes, no, honey, they're not. So we had a good laugh about that. So, you know, sometimes people just need a little support when they're stuffing the prosthesis um, with the polyester to know. We use a certain type of polyester that is softer and is very white. Um... We have found that it doesn't matter if you are darker skin toned with the darker skin colored yarns. The white does not show through, so that still works. And then I just talk them through many times on the phone through it. Um, I have gone out and actually done visits with people. Um, I have had one lady that asked me if I could sew them into her bra for her. And I did do that for her. 
and um, that was just because she preferred it to be done that way and then that way she could put her weight in you know when she before she puts the bra on she was double mastectomy and that worked for her it doesn't always work for everybody now depending on how deep the surgeon you know cut and what they took so um, sometimes fitting is is needed I've gone out to Amish Mennonite to also fit um, because sometimes there are some special needs with that uh, some of the Amish do not wear undergarments they wrap with muslin so as I've said in the past before we had to find a solution for one woman and um, we did find a solution for her it is we sewed it into the muslin and then we made sure that when she put it on that it was placed where she needed it before she began wrapping and um, I did give her some of the uh, body tape so that she could tape it just as she was putting it on um, and she could leave it there if she wanted to or she could remove the body tape but um, it worked really well for her so you know sometimes you have to go out and make face-to-face -face visits and do things and you do it so um, how do I get off on that I don't know I go off in tangents sometimes <sighs> But any of those of you that didn't know about the breast prosthesis, those kind of things, um, that is one thing that um, is one of my passions. My mother passed away from breast cancer that metastasized to her liver. And um, we had to find solutions for her. Because as I said, the solution at that time for her, because we could not afford breast prosthesis because they were like, 1500 to 2000 a piece and um, they told her to put a buckshot in a bag or a bird seed in a bag and put it in her bra that wasn't going to work so um, we found a different solution for her and that solution was actually just to sew a stuffed piece bag we had made for her breast and sew it into her bra and that worked for her so um, yeah there are a lot of things you do to support one another women channels those kind of things and men as well I have gone out to do to talk with men about uh, their procedure just because the doctor asked me to go out and ask if I would you know talk with them because they were very self-conscious about the fact that they had had a mastectomy um, yes men can get breast cancer so um and it's very difficult for men to talk about so sometimes a friendly face over a cup of coffee helps and you know they get through it um, I have quite, I have four or five men that I have met over the couple of years I've been doing this and I have had a very great opportunity to text and talk with them online as well, as well as by phone and in person. So this has been a great charity and one of my passions as well as other charities with the prayer shawl group, you know, those kind of things. Um, I rarely make anything for me, uh, so <laughs> it's very odd when Jane makes something for herself. <laughs> you know, people are like, why don't you make your own hats for yourself? Why don't you? It's just not my nature. You know, I generally make for others, and that's just the way it goes. The balloon blowing up is going fairly well. I did get a balloon this morning that I tried to blow up and it was one of those larger ones you know that's hard to get going and I was sitting over here and my husband's like are you okay because <laughs> I was trying to get it blown up and I said no I can't get it past the very tip 
he started laughing. He goes, maybe you're not ready for the big one yet. So, <laughs> apparently I'm not ready for the big balloon yet. So I'm going to have to keep getting some littler ones and work on those. But, uh, yeah, it's been rather interesting around here this week. Tomorrow, I need to go over and do this lovely thing. Uh, get the church yarn sorted out. I told you there's a lot of the homespun that was donated. So I need to sort that out from some of the other and sort out some of the donations. Determine what's good enough, for, you know, what we can use. That that we can't use, I'll take to scraps and skeins. Um, and just do a little bit of work in that storage room area to get things a little more sorted and you know stuff I haven't had a chance to do just because of being sick so that's it I rambled I don't know why I rambled just felt like it hope you enjoyed it if not I'll see you again tomorrow for another ramble everybody enjoy your day be well be safe and be kind <laughs>